When I was young, my family had a potter's wheel, and uh, I used that and made pots. You watch the, the clay spinning, and it's basically meditating. Your mind moves off in other directions all over the world, and then back to the thing in front of you, and then all over the world. You're not rushed, uh, worried, and you're just, and you're flowing. So at a very early age, I had that experience. I was studying literature at the University of Michigan, and I had wanted to be a fiction writer or a playwright. And I found myself drawing more than writing. And what happened was I never found anything I liked doing more. It became like a reason to be and I uh, always felt like something was missing when I wasn't doing it. I would do it if I was the last person on earth and there was nobody to see it. It's, it's constantly feeling and feeling more than thinking, at least in the kind of painting that I do, where it's not planned and uh, it has its own life. It takes its, it, which is uh, exciting for me to watch because in a way it's not so much about me it's about the painting. I enjoy that, whatever it is. It's watching something outside of myself, from inside of myself, from outside of myself. How confusing is that? <laughs> 